Hey guys, Joshua Peterson here with Peterson Electric. Today I want to talk to you about hugging the toilet. No, I'm just kidding. I uh, need to talk to you today about a heated toilet seat. Uh, this is becoming a very new common thing. This is my third one I've wired here in the last year. Um, I'll show you the unit in a sec. But you have to have a box somewhere located down here by it. Sometimes a lot of people want it on this wall. Well, that's the outside wall. That's not going to happen on this one. This is an inside cavity. In fact, this is all hollow through here. We drilled down and I'll show you as I walk down the stairs how I got to that circuit. It runs 853 watts. Divide that by 120. You're probably about 7 amps on that. So if I simply tapped off of this and came down, people would be tempted to use an extension cord. If I came down here and fished it because it's hollow, I probably could have. But putting 7 amps on this circuit right here for this lighting that we turned off the circuit, I think we're going to end up popping lighting in the whole master bedroom and the outlets. So we cho chose not to do that. Uh, it is more of an expensive route to dedicate it, but there's no other way that we could find to do it. There is um, an outlet. Oh, by the way, you, you have to GFCI that too because you're near water. Um, there is an outlet right here. The problem with this house at 20 some years old is that it this outlet traces to that outlet and that goes to the other bathrooms downstairs as well. Uh, here's the unit itself. And here it is out of the box. Uh, name tag is right here for what it says that it runs. And the cord is going to be long enough. I wish they would have had an option to just plug and play either side. We're going to have to come, come off this way, plug it right there. Now you might say in the video, why didn't you go out of that wall? Good question. Except for there's a micro lamp beam about that thick. And that's actually it's probably an iron and steel beam across the whole garage. We measured it off and it ends here. Then the roof starts and there's the extension of the other single car garage there. Because it's a three car garage. So there is no way to get through that side without major damage in the tile and the floor. Um, so this was definitely the easiest way. Drill a hole slightly go down there tap go back and reverse use a keyhole saw drill a hole caught the fish um, my uh, fish rod once that came through i taped that pulled up the wire we'll go down and show you the rest of it follow me oh it does have a remote too on this one coming pretty standard with remotes This is that beam I was telling you about, and I knew I could hear the toilet flush in here. A lot of bad at insulation, but we were able to poke through gently, making sure we weren't near wires. There was no duct, and the plumbing was coming this way. So we were able to come through. We're going to put a box here later, so he can actually put an outlet down low instead of extension cord so high. Then from that box, come out with MC cable, go down, and get to the panel. Um, so that's kind of in a nutshell what we're doing. I'll show you what MC cable is. You cannot be surface mount to the drywall with Romex Article 334. So you could use EMT conduit. But trying to craft that across the ceiling, it just doesn't make sense for the time. This is what we're going to use 3H MC cable 12 2. That should work just fine. So later we can tap out of that and bring outlets down and lighting through here as well for him. But anyways, guys, thanks for joining us. Hopefully that helped you out to understand. Um, and there's that panel right there. Sorry, I didn't mention that too. Um, we'll just come up in here. This was already here, so it's kind of perfect for us to get back in there. But uh, yeah, thanks for joining us. Hopefully it helps you out. We usually have to have a dedicated circuit for these things, or at least you know if a circuit's not full, uh, really hard to do in-house unless you turn off circuits and figure out your load. But sometimes just trying to run a new wire this wasn't too bad of a job, but sometimes pff, the panel's on the way other side or in the basement, catty corner to the master bedroom. So, um, yeah, have a good day. Thanks.